When hazardous or complex processes are part of your normal business, your company may be at risk. Take control by applying the bow tie method. Bow ties support you to make risk understandable for anyone by visualizing a qualitative risk analysis. Focus on identifying, managing, and monitoring your barriers. Make risk-based decisions and use your resources more efficiently. And prevent incidents, keep workers safe, and guarantee business continuity. Now, let's take a look at the bow tie concept in more detail. On this screen, you see a hazard, which is the starting point for any bow tie. A hazard is an operation, activity, or material with the potential to cause harm. For example, if I'm driving on a highway, that would be considered hazardous because it has the potential to cause harm or damage. So, we describe the hazard as driving a car. You can also specify it if it adds more details about the risk. For instance, driving an electric car at night on a highway. Below the hazard is the top event. The top event is the first moment control over a hazard is lost, releasing its harmful potential. We haven't hit anything yet and there's no damage, but we have lost control. In this case, the generic wording loss of control over the car works quite well. If you're not sure how to formulate the top event, you could always start with a generic loss of control description and later specify it further. What can cause a top event? These are threats located on the left-hand side of the top event. For instance, intoxicated driving, slippery road condition, blowout, etc. Each threat represents a scenario that will cause the top event loss of control over the car. On the right-hand side, you can see the consequences. These are unwanted outcomes that result from the top event and lead to damage or harm. Here, if you lose control over the car when you are driving, the consequences could be hitting a pedestrian or cyclist, crashing into another vehicle or a driver impacting the internal of the car, among other things. So far, you have completed different scenarios from threats to consequences. Each line of these three critical events, threat, top event, and consequent, represents a scenario. They all have possibilities to happen. The bowtie concept gives you a clear overview of all the different scenarios that could unfold around the loss of control when you're driving a car. After you've identified these scenarios, you start adding barriers. Barriers are also called safeguards or controls in different industries. They are physical or non-physical measures to prevent, control, or mitigate unwanted events. On the left-hand side, barriers can eliminate the threat or prevent the threat from becoming a top event. We call these preventative barriers. For instance, using breath alcohol ignition interlock can eliminate this threat, and lane departure warning systems can prevent losing control. On the right-hand side, these are recovery barriers. These barriers aim at recovering from or mitigating a loss of control before more severe consequences occur. For instance, wearing a seatbelt can mitigate the impact of the driver on the inside of the car. However, sometimes a situation, condition, defect, or error compromises the function of a main pathway barrier through either defeating it or reducing its effectiveness. These factors are called escalation factors. For instance, forgetting or refusing to wear a seatbelt can be an escalation factor of the barrier wearing a seatbelt. To prevent the escalation factor from impairing the barrier, you can create escalation factor barriers. For instance, a seatbelt wearing alarm can prevent the escalation factor of forgetting to wear a seatbelt and further reduce its impact on the main path barrier. These eight elements of a bow tie form the core of the method. It gives you a visual diagram that summarizes all unwanted scenarios and how your organization can control them. After completing your full bow tie diagram, you can add metadata to the bow tie for further risk management. In a nutshell, the bow tie method provides a systematic structure to analyze risk and make it understandable. It offers a way to manage your barriers and allows you to make risk based decisions. By using the bow tie method, you can prevent incidents, keep your workers safe, and guarantee business continuity. Contact Volters Kluwer Enablon for a complete demonstration of the bow tie method and the use of Bowtie XP software.